what is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Let's make our way over there, bang out this hunt. Um, I was thinking more about how we're approaching this game, and honestly, I think I might start saving some stuff for the streams. Only because I was looking at it, and I mean, we're at episode 37, so we're, we're coming up on like the 20 hour mark in terms of recorded content. And for a completionist playstyle, which is kind of what we're doing, this game is estimated at 70. So unless I want this to take up just straight two months of content, uh, I think certain stuff is going to have to be relegated to streams. So I think what I might start doing is uh, main story quests and critical side quests, stuff like that potion thing. Focus those on uh, episodes. And then for like the random side quests and the hunts, do live streams covering that content. I think that might, that might be the approach. That way I'm not... You know, I'm not leaving anything on the table, but I'm also not... I mean, I already know about how you work. Throw one of these out to you. Actually, I really like that with gouge, just because for the simple fact that I can... Oh, being able to dodge that is really, really helpful if I overcommit to that particular ability. I just completely mitigated damage there from having the World of Wikes on. shit out of that. Will of the Wakes, plus Gouge, plus Lightning Arm! It's over. Beefy ass Minotaur. 555, I think that's enough to get me what I want. Well, 
locals are sleep easy. Okay, let's go. Um, man, I do just really like this ability. I mean, Gao just is consistent at tearing up the stagger bar, which is nice, but like, when you hit that Rook's Gambit, just like, get fucked. It's so good. It's, it's, uh, let me just, let me save. Let me save up for it. I could save up for, uh, for Will of the Wikes. Do that instead. I don't know. At first, I was, I was really lukewarm on Will. I mean, it's not, not nearly as cool as like a giant Phoenix uppercut or anything else like that, but the damage mitigation from it is pretty invaluable to be honest like when i like the minotaur charged and it was like zero i was like what i just i just took no damage for a second like that's it's pretty big Much obliged. gotta get rid of some stiff what 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 what, <laughs> what? excuse me when did i get when did i get gear that was just straight up better when did i get these I don't even remember picking them up. Oh, do. Is that everything? Okay, magic charge we keep. You or no. You or no. Is that everything? No, 8%. I wanted one of those. Uh, keep those two. Oh, 15. Uh no. Trade. no. One of those. Hmm. I mean, an F five second duration. No, I don't think it's worth it. A fair trade. I'm with ignition. Is that everything? I'm not gonna go back to aerial blast. Trade. It was just too hard to actually see when I was using that. So. Thank you for sticking. So the fallen ruins near Martha's that are north of Sorrowwise. I mean, I assume it's like right there. I don't know. I mean, there's not there's not a whole lot of. Oh God, hang on a second. I can, I know. I just noticed it's probably dark as shit right now. Hang on. Uh, I really hate this shit. I wish Elgato would update this. Their their card for whatever reason is just like naturally dark. Um, like this is is closer to the brightness the game looks at. And of course, it's in a, a gloomy, darker area. But whatever, problem fixed. This is one of those things I wish, like, I, I, you know, obviously I adjust it and then uh, I'll restart my computer and it goes back to default where you can't see shit. Which, like, I mean, yeah, there were times in, like, God of War where I was in caves and I'm like, I can't see anything on the recording. What the hell? Not seeing. Oh, there we go. There's a fallen structure over there. Maybe that's what we're looking for. Yes, indeed. I think that's our target. Okay. Um, I'm not going to have 100 points. Don't have a thousand. I don't think there's anything. I mean, I could. Hang on. I could probably kill these dudes and get enough to upgrade Gouge before the fight and then take the points from Gouge and put them into either Wikes or the counter a little bit later. Sorry, I ran past you. Come back. Good. 
you disappear when I run over you? You do not. It's a big stagger. Electrum. That's what we needed for the um the good ass belt. The ruins who came. Then to ruin it returns. Let's run over here, get this, get some upgrades. The marshes near the Abbey are certainly damp. Let's see if they're damp enough. It does seem like a really mid ability, except for the defensive capabilities on this are pretty insane. Y'all guarding guard the Morgan beards. Oh, 
This dude is just getting the full-on power ass whooping right now. 33,000. Like, are you fucking looking at me? Quests, upgrades, turning the hunts, we're looking good. You see, I did a poll on the channel about what people think. So far, most people are voting that we keep all the content to, to episodes. Clive, sorry again for sending you all that way. Don't worry, I have it. I believe this will more than satisfy your needs. Let's see here. One bolt of red, one bolt of blue. What's this? I don't recall ordering any silk or velvet or... Is this gold work? Gregor's ghost. If that devil of a draper expects me to pay for these. You needn't worry on that score, Hortense. They were a gift. For services rendered. I can always return them if you like. Oh, no. Oh, there's no need to be hasty now, Clive. I'm sure I can put all three to good use. Speaking of which... Which one's most to your liking? Hmm? I don't know. I like black and red. This one, I suppose. Half a mind to give a piece to Jill. Did you know she's quite the little seamstress? Hmm? I know Needlecraft was amongst her lessons at the castle. Her lessons? Oh, that's right. The two of you were raised together in Rosalith, weren't you? Not quite together but when my father put down the uprising in the northern territories jill was taken as a ward to ensure that her father the silvermane would keep the peace she's an honest to goodness princess then isn't she i could tell you know some people just had that air about them not many round here mind i'd offer to sew her something that might better suit her station but she'd most likely turn me down as she always does tell me not to waste the fabric when it's better used on the children don't take it the wrong way. She certainly seems to be attached to the last outfit you made her. Oh, <laughs> sometimes I think she never takes it off. <laughs> or perhaps she'll make something for herself with your gift. Either way, I'm sure she won't turn it down. We'll see, I suppose. Yeah, so I think we're gonna... I'm gonna start letting side quests build up. And then we'll do, um... Just like side quest centric episodes where I'll bang out like four or five side quests and a bunch of hunts all at the same time. Just do all of that and then that way uh, we can constantly progress main story and then have just like basically hour long break episodes where we're knocking out stuff. Drake Slayer's belt. 
Ghost. Yeah, you put on. that on. What was the other thing? The Drake Slayer's bracelets. It's also a solid upgrade, but I need more Scarletite. Did I equip it automatically? Let me see. Yeah, I did. Beautiful. That's right. Never mind. Can't sell with you. All right, down we go. We see you so often in the backyard, Sid. I found your flowers. Yes, yes, wonderful. These are almost identical to the plates in my tome. Did you have any trouble locating them? Finding them was the easy part, but it's odd. They remind me of my childhood somehow. I don't remember these flowers specifically, but you must have grown them in the castle garden. If the petals are meant to improve the effectiveness of medicines, it's possible that the core physicus grew them for the tinctures and treatments they made my brother. If the ducal healers were convinced of their properties, that is all the more reason to begin growing our own supply here. Oh, allow me to use some of the flowers you brought me to make something that might aid you on your travels. I need only a moment to extract the essence from the petals. What you making me? And here we are. A file of pure Morgan Beard extract. A single drop added to any one of your restoratives will increase its potency. At least I hope it will. So what do we get? More potions or X potions? What do we get exactly here? Necessary for increasing consumable potency. Okay, so I think all my potions are just stronger now. In a file of Morgan Beard, increasing the potency of most consumables. Potions and high potions restore more. Strength, stone skin, and lion heart tonics last. Wow. It's nice too. Let's see about planting those seeds. Let us know if you find any rotten plants. I wonder if we're going to learn how to fire up this airship later. I know we were joking that like at some point we get an airship, but considering we're already built around one, do you think we actually do fire this thing up and it becomes our base late game when it gets, you know, when Final Fantasy gets high fantasy? So it always happens. The question is just when. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Your benefactors are a generous lot. All yours. Come again. I may have more for you. Whoa, 40%. That's actually pretty nutty. With that, plus the upgrade I just got, regular potions probably do, like, most of my health. I've done what I can, but the rest is up to you. You need to start taking better care of yourself. Understood. And thank you. Oba. The curse has spread. Make sure she rests. If it hurts, you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. I can bear it. Did you 
shouldn't have to. Not anymore. This isn't just your struggle, Clive. It's ours. And when we see how hard you fight, it inspires us to do the same. Or would you rather we left you to save the world all on your own? No. That's not... Ignore me. Where are you? In here. Of course. What's wrong? Those areas under attack. What? This isn't the Dalmechian army we're talking about. It's the men of the rock from Drake's Fang, Hugo Kupka's private guard. There he is in hell in Rosalith, trying to batter down the castle gates. Looking for me. Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then this is just another trap. Ah, it's a trap, all right. The daddy of all fucking traps. I'm going to Rosaleth. You're not serious. That's exactly what he wants you to do, Clive. Look, I don't know why Kuka harbors such a grudge against Sid. But as long as it's left to fester, our world will never know peace. He has dragged the rest of Storm into this pointless war just to find me. Beside which, I am not about to stand and watch while my home gets ground into the dirt. Hugo Kuka must die. I have lost enough friends to that man already. I don't want to lose any more. So let's go and kill the bastard. I'm coming too. After all, we're in this together. All right. I should probably speak to Otto before leaving. We need to know what we're getting ourselves into. Can I have some letters I should read? Chest. Is that all that's out here? I guess so. Lady Hortense said she'd give us our dresses. Be ready to leave for Rosalith at a moment's note. Gov gave you the news then. We're leaving for Rosalith. But not before I know exactly what's going on. What have we heard? All sorts. 
Nobody was expecting the Delmax to open up a new front against the Empire, least of all our friends in the provinces. Reports have been rolling in from all over the place, with no two saying the same thing. I've been passing them on to Vivian, and in the hope she can make sense of them. If you're set on going, you'll want to talk to her. Understood. Vivian, pretty much just here to recap story for me. Ah, if it isn't my favorite pupil. Let's see now, where did we leave? Well, this is a surprise. My lectures are rarely so well attended. Uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge, uh, can't hurt? We are going to Rosalith to deal with Kupka. What's the situation there? <laughs> Whoa there, Lord Rossfield. I'm sure you're champing at the bit to return to your roost. But to fully understand the present situation, one must first understand how it came to be. Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmekian government, to give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmekia's last line of defense, a fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The self-same army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. By which I mean Imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present, deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion, where its legions are now gathered. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you, Clive. He wants your head. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province, but to draw you out. You said Kupka's forces sailed up the coast. What of Port Isolde, then? Is the city safe? Quite, according to the Guardians of the Flame. The Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident. But not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith, our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. And so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas. It will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buett Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attempts to wrest it back from their grasp. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? The north. They cross the northern border near Phoenix Gate, then take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. Hardly the quickest route, but at least we won't be spotted. A little local knowledge goes a long way, and so must you. We'd best get a move on then. Oh, will you be going too? I? I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the world. All right. We should be on our way. Lead on. I'm gonna get Titan's powers. All 
right. Well, Rosalith is up next. Well, it's not letting me do anything. No. Hoping to uh, go to the lore book for a second, but it looks like that'll have to wait. Either way, let us wrap things up here. Next episode, we're heading back to Rosalith and assumingly what will culminate in a showdown with Titan. So stay tuned and I'll catch y'all then as we continue.